I will bring you up to Montreal about uh, 100, 150 years ago with the tradition of la guignolée. Uh, la guignolée, nowadays, it's, it's um, when, when you go from door to door and ask for money for a good cause. But back then, it was a little wilder, uh, as I understand. Um, first, people would go as well. Some, some thing between trick or treating, trick and treat, trick or treat, and uh, <laughs> caroling. So you'd go, but you're, there's always a, a dark aspect to it. There would, you'd, there would be some consequences if you don't give uh, <laughs> food or gifts to the, the, the La Guignole gang. Um, one of the consequences, they would sometimes steal the oldest daughter and make her step dance all night long. Or, uh, <laughs> and uh, one of the things, I'm just telling you the verses because I'll sing in French. Um, he, they ask, you have to give us some pork, but uh, it has to be a piece that's 25 feet long of pork uh, for snacking along the way. And uh, I, I read about the guignolet because it's was the first time I sing this song. Uh, I, I did not know much about the tradition, but apparently it was a pretty uh, rowdy uh, affair because when two groups of guignolet would meet in the middle of the streets in Montreal, they would start to fight and the true spirit of Christmas and just steal the other group's uh, bounty, uh, whoever won. It's all good fun for Christmas. We'll uh, play this with a fiddle tune by Joe Walsh. Et tout le monde de la maison Pour le dernier jour de l'année La guignolet vous nous donnez Si vous voulez rien nous donner Dites à nous les Péra Nous avons fait une promesse De venir vous voir une fois par an La guignolet, la guignoloche dans ma poche, 27 grands pieds de chine, si vous voulez, eh, Thank you. 
Thank you.